warrior. A warrior from the stars. You come to challenge me, Sky Warrior? Fight for your life, Captain! What creature is this? It is a devil from hell! Peace. Fear not. I shall not harm you. It speaks. Who are you? Where do you come from? I am a Santarin officer. My name is Lynx. He says he's a Saracen. I have heard tales of his Eastern magic. As an officer of the Army Space Corps, I hereby claim this planet, its moons and satellites, for the greater glory of the Sontaran Empire. Hi everyone, Talisco123 here, and today I'm going to be doing a top 10 video. This time, counting down my top 10 Sontarans. This is basically focusing on individual Sontaran characters. And for my opinion on the Sontaran race as a whole, they've had a bit of a bumpy ride, I would admit. I mean, at the moment, they're in a bit of a low point in the new series, unfortunately. Um, you know, and I'll go into that more in depth um, later in the video, I'll get to a suitable point. And even in the classic series, in that the best of runs, I personally think they were at their best when they were written by their creator, Robert Holmes, um, and also Bob Baker and Dave Martin did a good job as well in the Sultaran experiment. And I'll also get into all that a bit later when we get to the appropriate Sontarans. So, before, so let's start now with Commander Stark. I think it's Commander. Let's start now with Stark. The cracks in the skin of the universe. All reality is threatened. All universes will be deleted. We will save the universe from you. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking, and that is, who on earth is Stark? And, well, in fairness, he's the token character on here, because there aren't that many um, Sontarans properly in the TV series. And I'm only counting the TV series, by the way. I'm not counting um, audios, unfortunately. Um, but, anyway, back to this. So, Stark is basically that Sontaran from... The Pandorica opens, who imprisons the Doctor in the um, Pandorica, or helps, and is part of the Alliance. So yeah, he's only here because I needed another Sontaran. So yeah, now let's move on to um, ninth place, and that is Commander Store. Our presence is known. Soldiers, we move to a war footing. I see you face battle open skin, sir. Might I share that honor? You may. Thank you. So, Commander Score is played by Dan Starkey, who, of course, would later go on to play another on Tyrant Strax as well. And, you know, um, he only appeared in one story, the, um, um, sorry, the Sontaran Stratagem and the Poison Sky, that was it. And, you know, to be, he's he's okay, I guess, but I think he's the epitome of the new series Santaro in a way. They just he's just so stereotyped, he's so one dimensional that he's quite unfortunately boring. So yeah, that's a shame. So now let's move on to number eight, and that is Commander Store. <laughs> It's been a long, hard road, but at last, the future of Gallifrey is assured. Why, what are you looking for? Okay, sorry for the confusion there. I may have accidentally called store, score, and score, store. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. Um, this is Commander Store. The other one was Commander Score. Okay, sorry about that, but Store, anyway, um, The Invasion of Time, not the best of stories. The Sontarans in it are one of the big letdowns, unfortunately. Store, you know, he's really stilted, quite odd, unfortunately. 
probably, in fact, definitely, in my opinion, the worst um, Sontaran from the classic series. And it's just, it's unfortunate, really. However, he did get a great um, introduction in the cliffhanger to part four. That entrance was great. So, yep, now we'll move on to number seven, which is Strax. Where's that thing? Silence, boy! That's Strax, and as you can see, he's easily confused. Silence, girl! Sorry, lad. Sontar and Clone Warrior Race Factory produce whole legions at a time. Two genders is a bit further than he can count. Sir, do not discuss my reproductive cycle in front of enemy girls. It's embarrassing. Typical middle child of six million. Who are you? It doesn't matter because you're about to forget that you and I ever met. So, Strax, I'm not really sure what to think of him, to be honest. I mean, I like him as a character. He's very funny, very enjoyable to watch. What I don't like him as, however, is a representation of the Sontaran race, since at the moment he's the only thing we've got in the um, new series. So, um, it's, I don't know really. I mean, he's a bit too um, stupid, because you don't have to be stupid to be a slapstick comedy act. Um, but, you know, I'm not sure what to think of him, so I decided to put him here. Because I do like him, he's enjoyable enough to watch. So now let's move on to another classic series, Sontaran, and that is Baal. He's not the doctor I know. I am so, Jamie McCrimmon. I am another aspect of him, just as he is of me. Hey? I was him, he will be me. Who will I be? Now, Baal is the subordinate Sontaran from the two doctors and he is subordinate to um Stike, that's it. And we'll be getting along to him in just a bit. But first, you know, Val, I think you now it's got that um slightly odd look where the um neck piece doesn't really fit on properly. But you know, overall I think the voices and the acting is good. But yeah, they don't look the best unfortunately, but you know, we're Doctor Who fans. When are we ever miffed by the look of monsters? Don't answer that. So let's move on to number five, and that is General Stow. Someone's grown a body. A human body. Excellent skills of deduction. I would rate you above average, soldier. Well done. Whereas you, you smell of sweat and fear. Yeah? Well, we're not the ones who got out of school early, Sonny. And stop playing Humpty Dumpty and tell us who you are. Is that a reference to my height? Short answer, yes. A pity. Words are the weapons of women folk. I must judge you unfit. <laughs> what are you going to do? Buy our ankles? So, General Stahl is the one from the Sontaran Stratagem and the Poison Sky who's leading the whole thing. And yeah, I think... Um, I'm not sure the actor's name, but he does give an excellent performance, and I think it really captures a lot of the things that Sontarans should be. You know, unfortunately, the whole Sontaha thing was introduced here, and that was a bit rubbish, to be honest. And it felt too much like they were thinking, okay, the Daleks have got to exterminate the Sontarans we have now forced upon them, delete, which I don't like either. Um, so the Sontarans need something. Let's give them Sontaha. That makes perfect sense. So, yeah, that's rather unfortunate, but nevertheless, you know, great performance. The writing is good for the most part. So, now let's move on to fourth place, and that is Commander. Is it Commander? No, Field Marshal Stike. I am Group Marshal Stike, Commander of the Ninth Sontaran Battle Group. Long way from the war, aren't you, Stike? Going badly, is it? On the contrary. And thanks to the information you've just given me, I shall be back in time for the crucial battle. My money is still on the Rutans. Okay, Group Marshal, not Field Marshal, sorry. Um, I must be getting him confused with Field Major Steyer, who will be coming up shortly. But, um, anyway, going back to what I said about Val, it's mostly just repeating that, except, you know, Stike's got a bit of a better role in the two Doctors. Cyrus themselves didn't have the best of roles in the two Doctors, they weren't the main villains. But, you know, 
they get an alright role, I think, for their last classic series appearance and their last appearance penned by their creator Robert Holmes. So now let's move on to third place. We're almost there, and that is Karg. I'm Commander Karg, attached to the Tenth Suntaran fleet. So Karg was the Suntaran from the um, what you call it, Sarah Jane Adventures. He's the first um, no, not sorry, not the first. He's in my opinion, probably the best Sontaran we've had in the 21st century on TV, that is. You know, I think there may have, there's probably been some better ones in um, Big Finish Audios, but you no, know, Karg is great, in my opinion. You, know, you really get a lot of character across in him, the performance is great, and he's just, he's just a very entertaining Sontaran. So, now let's move on to second place, and that is Staya. The female of the species. Thanks. The Santaran. Can't be. You were destroyed in the 13th century. You were blown to smithereen. You may have seen one of us. But you're identical. The same ugly... Identical, yes. The same, no. I am Steyr, Field Major Steyr, as you will address me, of the Sontaran G3 Military Assessment Survey. And your opinion of my looks is of no interest to my program. Now, I did have quite a hard job choosing between Steyr here and the Sontaran I'm going to put in first place, as I'm sure many of you have guessed who it is by now, but I won't reveal it just yet. So, anyway, Steyr here, if you know, He's a very good representation of Satan Ratio. He's very evil in a lot of ways. You do get kind of like in the Sontaran experiment, you just get some kind of rather grim moments and also some grim moments described as well. And it's quite, he's just generally a very good Sontaran and a very good villain for that story as well. So now that's Steyr. So first place is Lynx. Links! Links and Mongrel! I have a bone to pick with you! Come here! I am occupied, Iron Gron. I'm out this minute and I burst the door down! Well, what is it you need to say to me? Didn't I tell you you might not find my face pleasing? Aye. Never was truer word spoken. Are they also fair to face beyond the stars? The variety of sentient life forms is infinite. Do you think your primitive features are pleasing to me? Well, what is it you want? That accursed iron warrior of yours. You are pleased with it? Some knave with a crossbow shot the control from my hand. The iron man became crazed, tried to kill all of us. Perhaps the hand control unit itself is a weakness. I will make you a better warrior, Iron Gron. One that will obey your voice, perhaps. First help me kill the one I have now. It still struggles to slay my knaves. It cannot be killed. It was never alive. Come. I will deactivate it. Now, the reason Link succeeds and gets first place is because he is funny and also is a very credible threat. You know, you don't doubt him for a moment that he's evil. But, you know, he's not kind of, like, humorless because he does have some... Very funny lines, maybe not intentionally, like, um, oh gosh, I forgot what it was now. Oh, yeah, you have a primary and secondary reproductive system, it is inefficient, you should change it. That was an incredible line, I think, and it's just, he is the best Sontaran, the first Sontaran, and the best. So, that's basically all for this video. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all next time with a review of Listen. Bye, everyone.